because it's doll cat i have something really fun we're gonna do right now so if you guys have been watching a while you know that i have a creepy guy that sends fan mail all the time named edwin google eye we tried to call him he gave us his phone number in a fan mail in one of the letters but some of the numbers were illegible so it didn't work out and it was a fail so he sent in my most recent video he sent more fan mail with the numbers actually being legible so we are going to give him a call i've never talked to him before i have no idea what he looks like what he sounds like so i'm so curious so if you don't know who he is like he sends these moist creepy letters and he sends usually three at the same time all saying the same identical thing about well i have his latest here and um, they go something along like this dear doll cat will you go out with me um when do you want to go on your date can we get married can i live with you i want to go on a trip that's not so bad call me he has a cell phone number but then he gets creepy can we make out in the bedroom can we sleep together can you be my new wife can i touch your boobs like he says things like that so for years i promise you for years if you've been watching this is the type of stuff he sends so anyway, we're gonna call him right now. So we'll try to FaceTime him so we can see his face. And if he won't answer for that, we'll just try a regular call. I hope that he's up, it's like 10.30. So I hope he's up and out of bed. He sounds like like a night person. He probably just stays up and writes creepy letters at night. But we're gonna try anyway. And also, oh, I have my shoes behind me because I was doing a shoe review on Cameo. Um, yeah, you guys need to look me up on Cameo. And somebody wanted me to do a shoe review so i just dug out some of my stilettos that i never even wore and did that but okay i'm really nervous i'm super nervous actually all right how do i just facetime let's dial the number and see if it's an option to facetime so oh i almost said the number out loud okay i'm really nervous what if his voice is creepy? What if it's not even a guy? What if it's a girl? Ready? It's ringing. I don't. We're sorry, the number you have dialed has calling restrictions that have prevented the completion of your call. Announcement nineteen. We're sorry, the number you have dialed has calling restrictions that have prevented the completion calling of your call. restrictions. Nineteen. It says that he has calling Edwin. Why do you have calling restrictions? I've never called a number and it said that it had calling restrictions. First it was illegible. Now you're giving me a number with calling restrictions? <gasps> Could you be in jail? Why else would he have calling restrictions? Maybe he's writing these from prison. Is this like prison paper? Oh my goodness, I never thought of that. Why else would he have calling restrictions? I've never in my life dialed a number with calling restrictions. It's a, it's a U.S. number. It's not out of the U.S. So what else would it be that has calling restrictions? You guys let me know. Now I'm really scared. I don't know to feel safe because maybe he's like in a cell and he can't get to me or something else. So let me know if you've ever heard of somebody's phone number having calling restrictions. Let's Google it. I'm so curious, why would somebody's number have calling restrictions? We're gonna Google this right now. Bear with me, guys. Calling restrictions, if they have blocked all restricted unknown numbers and you have your caller ID set to unknown, which I don't, so I pretty much would have gave him my phone number. <laughs> that's not good. And various numbers aren't going through. Well, that doesn't make sense because my number was not blocked. Um, Huh. What is a restricted call on my Verizon? I don't have Verizon. I don't know. Let's, I don't know. I don't know, I can't find anything. I was hoping to find something. Let me know if you guys can find something. Why? So Edwin, why are you giving me your phone number if you have calling restrictions on your phone? I wanna know what's up. How do we reach you? Um. Yeah, is there another number? Or maybe is your phone set to something and you need to take the restrictions off? I don't know. But now, it's a fail times two, Edwin. Like, I do these spontaneously and call you. Like, these are legit for the first time that I call you. 
I don't test the number out first. I don't do that at all. Oh, look, I got a five star rating on my cameo. Yay. But <clears throat> so now I don't know what to do. We're going to just review my shoes because Doll Cat's shoe shelf. Do you guys like my shoes? I bought these and never wore them once. I think they're super cute. <clears throat> I need to go somewhere. I'm going to take myself on a date. I'm going to take myself on a date and wear some cute shoes. So these are adorable because they have a little stretchy thing here for my wide feet. It gives a nice stretch. And I like the heel because it has a cute heel, but it's not too tall where I couldn't dance or like take a good walk in these. So I really like these. They're super cute. And I don't even know where I bought these from. I don't even remember. Oh, Amazon. I get tons of stuff at Amazon. So yeah, I just reviewed some of these on my Cameo privately for somebody, but you guys get to see them too. And I'll try on the other ones that I've never worn out in public. These ones, I think I'm gonna wear today. I forgot I had these, so I'm thankful for Ronnie who made me go dig in my shoe closet to uh, find stuff. Cause I was thinking, oh, I don't have any cute summer shoes to wear. Well, I bought these in the winter. Thinking of the summer, we're gonna shove my fat hoof <laughs> in this. This is for my feet people or my shoe people. Isn't that a cute pedicure? There it is. These are super cute. You like, you can wear these to a lot of places on the boardwalk, um, just around town. I'm sorry, I'm messing up the camera, but I wanted to give you guys a good look. These are really cute. I love these shoes. I'm gonna put the other one on and I might wear them today. Don't make fun of my feet. I know they're fat. I have fat bunions. That's why, see how they have the stretch, just like the other ones? You gotta wear something stretchy when you have fat feet and it covers the bunion. That's another reason I like these. It nicely covers the bunion. And again, it has the heel that I can still walk comfortably in. And also my first ever video, I did a shoe review. And it's on an old channel that I lost the password to, but I still have loads of subscribers with that one video and it was like a minute long reviewing a pair of shoes. So you guys know you love my shoes. I'm gonna wear these today, so I'm keeping these out. I have one more pair, I'm sorry, I don't mean to show my fat back rolls. These, I got these because every woman needs like a black pair of stilettos, because if you're going to a wedding or, I don't get invited anywhere, but actually I actually have a wedding coming up that I'm gonna be in. That guy that I met on Snapchat, doing Snapchat calls, they asked me to be the maid of honor in their wedding. Maybe I'll wear these to the wedding. I'm not sure if I like these or not, but I like the point because like, if you piss me off, I could just, mm, it's like a weapon. Just kidding. But anyway, that's these ones. Let's put the other one on for the full look. Never wore any of these, isn't that sad? Still my favorite pair, my Randy Orton hot pink or fuchsia heels. I really wanna wear those somewhere. I think I'm just gonna go to the food store and wear those. Just with my casual, people are gonna be looking at me like, what is that girl doing? Where does she think she's at with those shoes on? Shove my bunions. Bam, they're in. I got the bunions in, so. Here they are. <laughs> my flip flop just went flying. I need somewhere to go. I need somewhere to go. I'm taking myself out on a date and just wearing stilettos. I don't know where the hell I'm going, but things are opening up. I'm gonna go get myself some food or something. I don't know. But that's my shoe review. I haven't done a shoe review since the Randy wedding, which was in October, picking out wedding shoes. That's the last time that I think I showed anybody my shoes. So I'm excited to bring back Doll Cat's shoe shelf six and a half I think six and a half so you know I'm not lying there it is that's my shoe size and I remember like my first one of my first ever fan mails was shoes because that's what that's where I came from duck cut shoe shelf people would send me shoes I still have all my shoes I never get rid of them so wear them I do Paul will sent me a cute pair of peach like flats so thank you guys for for supporting my shoe habit I was gonna say shoe fetish but better not say that People just think it's weird. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'm really upset that we didn't get to see Edwin. I built that all up in my head that this was gonna be really cool. I even got nervous and it was a fail like last time. So will we ever get to see Edwin? Is he in prison? Who knows what's going on? Who knows? Is he even a male? But that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you think he's calling for prison or what that could be. And please like and subscribe for more so I can buy more shoes.